If you're hoping to incorporate music in your show, your options are either speakers or an FM transmitter or both. With your speaker, if you want to go down a cabled route, you'll typically be dealing with a 3.5 mm AUX headphone jack, or you might choose to go wireless with Bluetooth. On the one hand, that's one less cable to worry about. However, there is a lag with Bluetooth. It's only a few milliseconds, but can be noticeable if you have characters with mouths synced to speech or music lyrics. If you opt for a battery powered speaker, again, that's one less cable to worry about and presents less of a tripping hazard, but you need to remember to charge it. You can typically expect around 16 hours from one charge. For a speaker you'll be using outside, it either needs to be outdoor rated or kept inside a weatherproof enclosure. Inside an enclosure is better for security since it's easier to walk off with the speaker if it's loose. If you aren't keeping the speaker in a secure enclosure, you need to consider its security by maybe hiding or disguising it, chaining it or locking it down, or fitting it with an alarm. When it comes to positioning your speaker, I recommend placing it where the audience is, not necessarily where the projector is. This means the sound can be quieter to keep neighbors happy. Having a speaker encourages visitors in cars to park and come up to the show so they don't hang around blocking the road in their car. The speaker also serves people coming on foot like trick-or-treaters. An FM transmitter, on the other hand, takes your audio and broadcasts it over an FM radio frequency, which audience members can tune into, usually in their car. At colder times of year, this is good because people would rather be in a car. It also has the advantage of creating no noise for neighbors. It also keeps the audience out of the way of the projections where they might cast shadows. Depending on where you live, there might be rules around taking over a radio frequency and over what range you can broadcast, so look into those. Remember to have some kind of sign to tell people the frequency to tune into. This can be some kind of physical signage or integrated visually into your show. If you want to incorporate both a speaker and an FM transmitter, you need an audio splitter out of your projector or media player. If this video helped you, say thanks by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next video.